Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to take a first look at Helium Rain. This is a game that you can currently find on Steam's Early Access program for about 15 bucks. And it's important to mention Early Access, that means the game is still under development and everything that you're about to see here is subject to change. Also, this is my first time playing, so this is going to be a first impressions video. Based on what I know, this is a space open world sim of sorts, similar to Freelancer, similar to Rebel Galaxy, similar to uh, Starpoint, Gemini, 1, 2, and Warlords, all of which I've played. So I'm pretty familiar with this genre. I haven't played X3. Um, I've dabbled a little bit in EVE Online, but I wouldn't call myself an expert. I got bored very quickly with it. Um, but anyway, I wanted to see how this game compared to those other games that I've played. So this isn't going to be one of those, uh, this is like me trying to teach you how to play this. This is more of a me discovering this for the first time and seeing what the game has to offer. Games like this generally have a learning curve. Uh, hopefully, though... Uh, this game will borrow a lot of elements from the previous games, and uh, I'll be able to dive in this fairly quickly. You know, usually in games like this, there's some sort of uh, set of galaxies or, you know, solar systems that you can travel to. Each one has some type of dock that you can, uh, well, dock with, and then there's like a bar where you can uh, pick up jobs, uh, like a message board of sorts. Uh, you know, they usually carry a shipyard or some sort of trader where you can trade goods or buy ships or upgrade things. So I'm assuming the game is going to be a little bit like that. But again, to what extent, I don't know. So let's go ahead, give this a go. It's an interesting loading screen. Okay, let's move on. Oh, so it's a little bit of a timeline here. Nima, huh? Some colonists attempt to return to Earth. Life goes on. Okay. New game. Please describe your company. Uh, well, I, I like the color. Well, wait, is this my company here? This is interesting. I'd, I'd prefer it to be a blue color. All right, I, I, all right we'll stick with that. Um, hall identifier. P-L-Y. What does that even mean? How about USS? Can I do that? Or how? No. DGA. Obviously. What am I, do what am I doing? All right. DGA. Yeah, we'll just do company name. Since I have a very long name, I'll just do DGA Corp. And DGA is the hall identifier. Company emblem. There's three to choose between. Um... Let's go with the, let's go with the triangle. Sure. And this training contract, yes, training contract, start with a few training contracts. Let's do that so we can learn how to play. All right. Whoa, this is really nifty. I like the color scheme. It's a lot different than what I'm used to. Whoa. Okay, so I'm just using my mouse right now to move around. To move forward, press W slightly. You can modify the key bindings in the settings menu, F10. Reach at least 30 milliseconds forward. Okay, so right now I'm traveling at 12 meters per second. All right, and you can see my current speed right in the middle of my screen underneath the little dot. Oh, this is so cool. All right. Oh, didn't mean to, I'm, 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 I'm hitting buttons randomly. I shouldn't be doing that. Um, there is no air to break in space. Okay, so that, that stands to reason. Very Battlestar Galactic-esque. Uh, your ship will keep its velocity and direction if you don't break with your RCS. Makes, okay, definitely, okay, cool, cool. All right, um, press S to break. I can also go in reverse, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, down, left. Right, got that far. Rotate with Q. Oh boy. E. Okay, Q and E rolls. Okay. Do a bear roll. Yeah. And then throw up. Your spacecraft can move along any axis, up, down, left, to right. 
Try moving with left shift. So I'm strafing. Okay, cool. So you can, it, it's, this is a shift key. Uh, the shift key is sort of like a strafe key. Interesting. I, I don't know if I'm going to run into something here. Whoa, whoa, look at this. Oh, beautiful. All right, let's, let's roll properly and, and admire this before moving on. That is so cool. Oh, man. Okay. Move your spacecraft down with left control. Okay. Reach at least, okay, 20 milliseconds forward. Okay. Keep a constant velocity and aim for your target. All right, so there's some waypoints here. I should probably, yeah, slow it down. <laughs> I'm speeding up faster and faster trying to get to more parts of the game. I, should, I guess I should be patient, huh? All right. Patience, what's that? Okay. Open the orbital map. All right, how does one do this? Right mouse button, ah, orbital map, there we go. Cool, first light, because here's Nema here. There's different, I'm assuming these are planets. Yeah, okay, these are planets and these are the moons because there's the sun over here. Skip day, so you can actually skip time and fast forward in this. All right, uh, select, the selector, uh, select the sector, the depths, and click travel. All right, so I saw that somewhere. Here it is. Okay. Use the fast forward button to wait for the... Oh. Okay. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Do I get out of here first? Travel, travel three days. So what is this over here on the left? Trade fleet one, your fleet, and then travel three days. Okay. Local prices, build station. Um, I don't see that fast forward menu anywhere. So maybe I have to do it from here. Here it is. Okay. Fast forward. Orbital navigation tutorial. Okay. Close the menu. Target M-S-Y-W-M-N-Albroix-Mine for three seconds. How does one find this? All right, there's an arrow pointing this way. All right. I wonder if this is this here. Yes. Um, I get, let's move forward, I guess. I don't think that's it. Company fleets, diplomacy, technology, contracts. Okay. So, okay, you can use the targeting system to interact. Use the mouse wheel down and up. Oh, okay. So, I need to find the... All right. That's the Anakima. Okay, there it is. Okay. So, it's up this way. All right. Got it. Now it wants me to target the Anarchy or whatever it's called mine. There it is. Okay. Now it wants me to target the hearse mine. Alright. I can't get over these graphics. It's so pretty. Approach at less than, okay, 250 meters. From the hearse mine. All right, fine. So let's, let's move forward. I 
how fast can I go? I've got uh, 300 meters per second. All right, all right, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Break! <laughs> I got that. <laughs> In space, no one can hear you break. Let's, right, let's, let's see. I, I, I'm turning the other direction now, and now I'm going negative. So it actually accounts for the fact that you've swiveled your ship around, which is really interesting. It's pretty intuitive. There's a temperature gauge down there as well. I should watch that. Bottom left-hand corner. All right. So let's 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 reduce speed when we get to about I guess 2 kilometers. All right. Closing in 1 kilometer. All right. Slowing down. Slow down. Too slow. All right, there we go. Got it. And stop. Stations have multiple docking ports for light and heavy ships. Turn around the station to find an available docking port. Your docking computer will automatically start. All right. Um. Okay, so my docking computer. Oh, oh, so this is it up here. Okay, I see it. Well, these are docking ports. I never realized that. All right, so we're closing in. On approach, that bar on the very bottom right is filling up. Distance is 40 meters. Okay. The easiest way is to aim for the center of the small circle in the HUD and translate with left shift, left control, D and A. Keep your velocity. Okay, load range. All right. So I guess I'm. I need to go up, right? A little bit. Oh, left shift just brings you up. It doesn't actually. Okay, I thought left shift was a strafe. It's actually just to go up and left controls to go down. All right. So my mistake. Left shift is not a strafe. Did I get it? I think I did because the cargo bay is now active in the bottom right hand corner there. Reduce speed to... Oh, did I dock or did I hit something? I think I hit something. I'm, I'm a little confused by what I'm doing here. Okay, it says cargo. Okay, so how did, I want to come to a complete stop. Okay, now what? Reduce roll error to less than five degrees. So am I even in the right? No. Hi. Yes, I don't think that's... Yeah, let's... <laughs> Angular error. Ang... Oh, 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 okay. So I have to roll this thing... It has to be less than... Oh, I did not get it. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I think the game felt bad for me. Once all the docking parameters are good, slowly speed up to reduce the distance, keeping all the error values as low as you can. Once you're three meters away, the magnetic grab will snap your ship to the docking port. For your first docking, try staying below five meters per second and don't hesitate to stop to correct your alignment. Uh, that's what I thought I was doing. All right. Did I get it? Ah, oh, okay. I think I got it. Congratulations, you are docked. If you want, you can make docking easier by unlocking auto docking. Uh, that might be good to have. Okay. Press middle mouse button to select the undocking option. After all that work, <laughs> just saying. All right. 
Other companies in the system can give you contracts to carry out. You can ignore them, but they are a very good way to earn money or research, or to discover new sectors. Keep traveling between sectors to find contracts. Travel to other sectors and accept a contract. All right, so if we go to right mouse button and then orbital map, well, it says sector. All right, sector info. This station is under construction and needs resources to be completed. Um, what's closest? It looks like we're closest to the Hearst mine. The next closest, I guess, is... It looks like some sort of... Yeah, I don't want to mess with that. There's, there's a little sword here. Uh, dock target. Mark the spacecraft as your current target. Okay. Cargo bay, water. Water is produced by ore reduction or fuel combustion. So it looks like resources can be traded in this game. Uh, let's take a look at some of these other menus before we move on. So ship F1, uh, target, fly, trade, upgrade, scrap. Okay. Ship name, I can rename it uh, Voyager, sure. Um... Next, we've got Sector Info, which we've already seen. And it looks like I can possibly get more than one ship, because it says Trade Fleet 1, 1 out of 20. So it looks like I'll be able to, like I said, get other ships and possibly use them to ferry resources back and forth, but again, I don't know. Uh, in Starpoint Gemini Warlords, you could add ships to your entourage and take on various contracts and totally just annihilate pirates as you saw fit, assuming your force was large enough. You could even sort of customize what ships you had. Economy. So we've got uh, economy status for food, fuel, tools, electronics, fleet supplies, and carbon. Okay. So it looks like there is an active economy in this game. One thing, I hope that this game will say, okay, this station has this, this, and this for sale. Uh, you know, they have this in abundance. They need this. Just to make it easier to trade. Some games are good about that and some aren't. Some require you to actually write down what's selling high and what's selling low. It doesn't, it doesn't keep track of that for you. Whereas other games are like, okay, uh, we're going to make trading very easy. Here's... Here's where you should probably go to drop this off because you're going to get the best price for it. But here's a list of other places you could travel to as well. So there's, there's a wide variety of different difficulties when it comes to trading with the different games that are out there. Rebel Galaxy is a great one, I think. It's, it's very easy to catch on to that. But again, I don't know what, what's going to come of this. Fleets, diplomacy. So it looks like there's a, quite a few leading companies here. DGA, I'm 13. And there's 12 above me. I can declare war or pay tribute to each one of them. Technology. So uh, these are available technologies here. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot to research at the moment. There's uh, 5 times 4 is 20. So there's about 20 research technologies available right now. But, again, this is early access. So there may be more coming. I don't know. Contracts. Um, so I guess it wants me to travel first, so we'll, we'll take a look at that. Okay, so right mouse button, orbital map, let's go to, uh, Miner's Home, Blue Heart, does it matter, stations. Is there a station at first light? Ships. There's six stations here. So wait, if there's six stations in the... I don't see any stations anywhere else. So do we just travel within the depths and find the different station? Maybe we should be. All right. So this is one of them. Let's... Okay, so yeah, there's different outposts. All right, so we, again, are at the Hearst Mine, yes? So, uh, let's find one that's closer. Well, closest. 5.2 kilometers. Let's head this way. All 
I have no weapons yet. I, I can't seem to really do anything. Left mouse button isn't shooting or anything like that. All right, let's slow down. I'm assuming this is... Unless this is just... What did, what did I just target? This is a ship, I think. Oh, so this is a ship. Interesting. Hi. Don't kill me, please. I guess we'll target this this mine here. That is 7.3 kilometers away. All right. Let's go with that. All right. So the longer I hold in my W key, the more my temperature increases on the bottom left-hand corner. So I'm assuming that I, I don't want to continue doing that for long. All right, let's slow it down a little bit. We're at 2.5 kilometers, two kilometers. Let's slow it down to maybe 100, and 100 meters per second. Oh, there it is, okay. Oh, we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit. I'm going too fast. Slow it down, slow it down. Oh boy, that was close. I gotta learn that braking takes time in this game. In Starpoint Gemini, I'm like, my thrusters are like, phew. I just came to a stop. Okay, great. All right, let's go ahead and roll. Okay. So if we get close enough to this thing. All right, I'm stopping. I'm stopping. Okay, docking computer. All right. Roll error is at 42%. I guess if we were to angular error, I don't think that's how I'm supposed to do it. Oh, there's rule error and, an okay, so I think I need to, oh, so there's rule error and angular error. So there's two different, okay, so I need to line it up like this. All right, stop, 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 stop. Okay, down. I think I was doing better up there. All right, my roll is good. All right, we're coming in. Angular error is at 6%, six degrees, I should say. Lateral error Boy, this is difficult. Down. I had it before. Left shift maybe back up. No, I'm I'm going up nine degrees. Uh, I haven't found the trick to this yet. Okay. Oh, almost had it there. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. If I can get my roll correct, distance is five meters. All right, roll. There we go. Okay, they're all green down there except for the distance. And we are docked. Awesome. Okay. Uh, travel to other sectors and accept a contract. Okay, so I'm here. So now was this a, was I supposed to go to a different? This is just a different outpost. I don't know if this is a different sector or not. I don't think it is. Sector info. No, this is this is all okay. I'm still in the same sector, so I need to tr I need to travel. At least that was good practice. If we go to say first light, okay, um, travel three days and then fast forward. Okay, I've arrived at first light stations. All right, so there's nothing there. Let's go to Blue Heart. Travel two days. Fast forward. Okay. 
Open the con. Okay, so I've made it to Blue Heart. It says uh, open the contracts menu. Okay. You can manage contracts here. You only have a few days to accept the contract, but once you do, you can usually take your time to finish it. Accept your first contract now. Um, so there's a VIP transport. Take a closer look at this contract. Methane delivery or fuel delivery. What should a newbie pilot be transporting? Fuel, of course. Something that's combustible. Sell 22 fuel to AXSARS Hegemon Arsenal at Blue Heart. Okay. Sure. Except. Okay, so... Now what? Do we get this fuel automatically, or do we have to pick it up first? Track a contract. You can return to this menu to track the tutorial contract at any time if you are lost. Maybe I should have gone back. All right, contracts. Um, track. There we go. Complete five contracts to start filling your company's coffers. All right. So again, where is... I don't think I have anything in my inventory. This cargo bay is empty. So where... So I have to find fuel first. So the question is, where am I going to find fuel? Um, is there a commodities list somewhere and then a place where I could buy them? Is there a fuel station? Yeah, more... I think more instruction here would have been nice because I don't know where to find the fuel. It, there is this fuel delivery in Blue Heart, which is nice. Mark this space, base spacecraft as your current target. Okay, so if I click... Okay, there's fuel, steel... Input. Oh, okay, so it does. There's an input and output. So I guess I need to click on these various places and look for fuel as an output. I'm looking. Input, 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 input. Nope. Input, input, input. And plastic is output. Uh, C. No, oh, that's carbon. Nope. 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 Okay, so, yeah, where... Where's fuel? That's the question. Where do I find fuel? Economy. Fuel. Alright, fuel is used to power machinery. Propels... Oh, yeah, I know that. Uh, sector. First light. Production. Okay, so we know that Blue Heart Neutral consumes it, but it's, okay, so this is sort of like, a, uh, I guess I have to visit the location before I can actually track who's selling what, possibly. As of right now, there's no stock anywhere in the places that I've been. I've been to First Light, I've been to the Depths, I've been to Blue Heart. So I think we have to go to orbital map, maybe go to the spire, travel there, and see if there's any fuel at that location. Uh, so if you go to economy, okay, consumption, there's no production. And again, I could be reading this wrong too. Just keep that in the back of your mind. I am new to this. Um, let's try miner's home, travel, skip. Okay, uh, economy. Again, no production. Usually when it comes to deliver contracts, usually they give you the stuff. I'm surprised that you actually have to find it first. I, again, unless I'm reading that wrong. Um, it would be nice to say, hey, you can get fuel here. Look at all these different contracts. Um... 
So luckily, it doesn't look like there's a time limit on this. So as long as this arsenal is dest isn't destroyed or war isn't declared on the Axis supplies, um, orbital map. Let's check this outpost over here. Travel. Fast forward. Economy. Still no production or stock. Everyone needs fuel, but where are they getting it from? Where are they, where are they getting this fuel from? Assuming that they're getting anything at all. All right, orbital map. Let's try Knight's Home. Travel. Fast forward. It's going to take six days for that. And it looks like it can add trade routes on the left-hand side here, which is kind of convenient. All right. They're consuming a lot of fuel, but again, no one seems to have any in stock. It's got to be coming from somewhere. All right, so been there, been there. Um, let's go to... I don't see any other... Am I missing... Okay, so I guess having now traveled to these locations... Outposts, four stations, 11 stations, seven stations, 13 stations, six stations. Okay, so I, is this it? This is this is all I have to work with? All right, hide. Anything? Okay, yeah. So I'm trying to find fuel, but I'm not seeing anything. All right, let's travel here. Do I have to wait for the AI to actually build fuel stations? I doubt it. I'm sure there's something that I'm missing. I just don't know what that is yet. Um, yeah, because I don't see any production over here on the left-hand side. Details. Fuel. I'd love to be able to see where it's supposed to be coming from. Now, I saw something... I saw the ability to actually construct, add new trade route. I could have sworn I saw the ability to construct a station, and I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Orbital map, sector, and already there. Build station, zero out of five. You need to unlock station technology first. Okay, so I can't do that. Um... All right, I'll put H2O. All right, so let's just let's, let's see if that is if if I'm reading this correctly. If I go to water, H2O, I should see production on the depths because there's output. Yes, there is. So then, how does one how does one complete a fuel contract when no one is producing it? <laughs> unless unless there's more places to visit that I'm not seeing here. That could be it. Travel. Th Let's see if there's anything at first light. There's nothing there. Hmm. Alright, well, again, this game is still under development, so either either I'm not seeing something and the game sort of isn't pointing me in the right direction to find it, or... You know, maybe this is an issue. Maybe this is a bug that needs to be addressed. I don't know. Um, but as far as first impressions go, it has a lot of promise. I'm really excited. I, I love the um, I love the art style in this. And I'm not seeing any weapons either. Like, I don't know if it's just because I'm in a crappy ship to start with and then you gain weapons over time. Um, considering that there are hostile things in this game, I'm assuming at some point I'll have access to weapons. But because I'm in a tutorial stage, uh, I'm not going to see anything like that. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. If you guys want to see more gameplay, uh, definitely let me know. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.